Hello, you see, welcome to Lucia Craft. So, how long have you been uh, working in China? And compare with your first impression mm -hmm. until now, what the changes impress you the most? Hello, Lucia. And first of all, thanks for, your, for including me in this interview. It's already 14 years I have been in China. So, uh, I was first uh, eight years in Beijing, and then uh, I was in Wuxi, where we set up our second factory in uh, for five years over there. And now just quite recently came back to, to Beijing. So sure, in that t amount of time, there has been a lot of changes in China and uh, the development is very fast. So if thinking for the manufacturing and, and others, of course, the local competence has increased a lot. So in terms of the equipment, also the, the uh, engineering uh, mm -hmm. and, and others. And uh, yeah, it's a vast, vast development in many <laughs> various fields. And uh, sure, automation, now recently AI. So see a lot of lot of different uh, good possibilities and, and especially here in China. Today you sort of guide us had a factory tour in Beijing and you also mentioned that you have a factory in Wuxi. So uh, compare with these different locations, are there specific policy support measures that have facilitated the factory's uh, development? Yeah, so for the special policies of course I mean regarding of the government so both in Beijing and Wuxi so we want to work together with the government, so definitely to follow the r local uh, regulations and rules. But then on the other hand, they have been supporting us very well to, to be able to maintain our uh, factory and facilities uh, here and have a smooth operation. Low carbon development is a key focus of China, Finland, bilateral cooperation. How does the Beijing factory align in uh, its uh, practice with the relevant technical standards of the two countries? Mm. So uh, de definitely sustainability is very important for us and uh, we are measuring the CO2 emissions and we have a very strict KPIs to follow, follow this one. In, in there, of course, we follow the local guidelines and local uh, rules, but then on the other hand, since uh, we are Finnish companies, we want to do even better and of course apply those good practices, even maybe proactively and, and uh, to be even like a model student in that sense in wherever we do the manufacturing. So in practical technical exchanges and production work, uh, how do the Chinese and the Finnish teams explore and identify the optimal cooperation model? Yeah, so this is of course um, very different cultures and of course very different working styles where maybe Finnish mindset is quite process oriented, sometimes seems to be a little bit slow. And then on the other hand in China, very fast paced uh, and action oriented mindset. So definitely there is, we want to get the best of the both worlds and then in a, in a result to build our own DT culture, which utilizes the strengths from both Finland and China. And how do you position R&D strategy in China, especially in the AI and 5G empowerment? Mm. So we have a strong uh, R&D presence in China already since 90s. And then of course we have a strong R&D also in Finland. So I think both sides are cooperating and ideas and innovations are shared. So um, currently we have also a local APAC R&D and also the Finland R&D, but they are in a sort of reporting for the whole group. So definitely it's a combination of both of the uh, R&D uh, in China and Finland. So there's a joint cooperation. You still uh, focus remain on Finnish technology as a core, or has there been collaboration integrating Chinese and Finnish technology innovations mm. here? So I, I think that mm, some of the programs are led from Finland, some of them from China. So it would be maybe not to say that they are either or, so definitely both. Okay. And they are contributing, they are together as a group level. So I would say that both Finland and China are heavily contributing our product and process development. And can you describe the Chinese manufacturing industry to your engineers, peers in Finland with a few keywords? Yes. Well, I mean, the first word that comes to my mind is agility. So definitely that very agile, fast paced, and also the response time is also many times needs to be faster. And, and the, the second one is very competitive. So I would say that uh, there's a lot of competition. Uh, things are changing very fast. And this is, of course, maybe sometimes challenging for the colleagues in Europe as, as maybe the pace of working is a little bit different. So this is the things that we are balancing between uh, our Finland and China colleagues uh, quite
quite often, but uh, eventually we want to find a good way to cooperate and, and get the best out of the bo both worlds. Mm, and especially China is from made in China to the intelligent manufacturing in China, mm. right? Yes, correct. In China-Finland technical cooperation, how do the expert teams of the two countries address differences in standards, methods, or working models? That's definitely also linked maybe for this, uh, so to say, agile versus process-oriented mm -hmm. mindset. So sure, it requires a lot of, lot of talking, and I think we have a lot to learn from each other in that, that sense. So uh, considering the, the development speed in China, it's very fast, but then on the other hand, Finland has maybe more, let's say, process oriented and controls there. So we need to find a way how to balance, balance these things and have our own culture here in DT, which is combination. Can you share further then of the development in China? Well, um, I think that we are definitely have the biggest factory here. And uh, probably uh, the next step is, of course, try to use more of the automation, AI, new technologies, how we can also increase and improve our efficiency here in, in the area and then on, at the same time of course to be able to uh, navigate through this little bit challenging geopolitical climate um, but definitely China plays a key role it's a big market for us yes thank you see thank, thank you, you for your time yeah